Well, hey out there, fans, friends, feds, and frenemies, it's me, Postmodern Cowboy. And I'm back with a little bit more Going Medieval. This is, if I'm not mistaken, episode number 12. Um, we are playing uh, Going Medieval, which is a community management survival game from Foxy Voxel. Um, it's in the vein of RimWorlds uh, or S Surviving Mars, um, Dwarf Fortress, games like that. Um, and we're playing on Ravensworth Castle. Ravensworth Castle is a uh, 14th century castle in England. Um, you know, this is not this is not a scale model. Um, but uh, I'm trying my best to recreate uh, some some kind of castle from that period, and uh, we're playing in the Richmond Sea because the real world Ravensworth Castle is in Richmond. So this is the capital R Richmond Sea, um, and we're we're on episode number twelve. So things have been things have been coming along. Um, we're headed into fall, um, so this is going to be the fall slash early winter episode of the game. Um, as far as tasks, we've got some harvesting coming up. In fact, I think all of the harvests are ready. Yeah, so I don't, I don't want to let everything go to seed here. We've got our, our cows sleeping in their, their, their manger there. Um, that's something that's been underway uh, from the last episode. And uh, we're going we're gonna to continue the keep. Likely we'll finish this floor. We'll finish the Great Hall and um, probably get into the library and changing over this um, this tower, this wooden tower, into something um, more commensurate with the uh, the plan here. We also have to start making more limestone bricks so that I can uh, build up a second course before a trebuchet shows up. There's some interesting new updates coming from uh, from Foxy Voxel, by the way. If anyone reads their uh, Medieval Mondays blogs, um, I'm going to do a separate video on that. But uh, let's see what this merchant has to offer us. Some apple saplings, yep, we'll take those. And feed seeds, why the hell not? I don't think I'm short on that. You can sell animals, that's that's a, a good new thing. You know, when you wind up like I, I have with a whole bunch of goats, maybe you want to sell some of your goats off for money to a merchant. I'm not going to do that right now, but they are worth 71 gold, so keep that in mind. And they, they, they seem to reproduce themselves pretty easily. Now, the cows, on the other hand, are worth 136, so... That's that's fantastic if you uh, manage to breed and sell cattle. Um, right now, in order to make up the, what do I owe, 224 gold. Uh, you know what, I might sell a goat, I might sell Shadow, and Pinky, and do I have the small things that I don't need a lot of? I've got a ton of silver, but it's not refined, so it's not, it's not really worth much. Um, I can sell these sturdy summer clothes. They're they're just taking up space. Um, we can always make more summer clothes, and yeah, that's uh, it's pretty good. Do I have do I have any gold left to sell? I didn't I didn't actually. So I do have some gold left to sell, and that should push us over the line. Yeah, there we go. So I got some beet seeds and I got some apple seedlings, um, which are going to be planted in the orchard because we've still got a couple orchard spaces. I gotta, I gotta keep course correcting the uh, the spread of these apple trees out here. All right, I'm probably gonna set up a second larger orchard um, at some point in time, somewhere once uh, once we've got enough seedlings. Um, you know, similar to the way I've done the berry bushes here, and these are great. These are we should be harvesting these right now, and we should totally be harvesting. I uh, know the beets and carrot. The carrots are up. Carrots are up, and the uh, cabbages are up. Great. There goes the merchant with the goats I sold them. So I forget what everyone was doing from the last episode. It's been uh, it's been a week and a half here, two weeks almost. Uh, I was playing Stranded Alien Dawn, which is, you know, frankly, it's a lot like this game. There isn't um, fundamentally much difference between um, the two. Stranded does have, um, you know, arguably a better, at least less stylized graphics and um, character interactions. It's got um, like community rapport they they do things with each other they interact they develop histories and interactions so that's cool i'm enjoying it um as far as tasks that folks are assigned to everyone seems to be more or less what they should be or on what they should be doing 
Um, of course, I'm going to pull them off that, and we're just going to get this harvest done early in this season. Um, you know, I'm just going to actually... Somebody asked me why I don't put everyone on Tending Convalesce 1. That's a very good question. You can do that. Um, the reason I don't have them convalescing automatically and tending each other automatically um, is because sometimes in a fight, um, it may be that that's the less advantageous thing to do. Um, having your uh, peasants run off and you're having your peasants, having your community members run off and sequester themselves immediately following a fight when there is, you know, maybe valuable loot to be picked up or um, corpses, ill-placed corpses to be moved stuff like that like it just makes sense especially early on to micromanage the healing cycles I, I get it though um late in the game once you've got what, what do i have um we've got eight nine community members in total yeah if i had probably 10 or more community members i i i will um uh, automate their their uh convalescing and tending oh look at them just rip through that harvest Hopefully they rip through the hauling too, because I just want to get this over with. Is there even anywhere for them to store the food? Is the uh, granaries getting pretty full there? Okay, so that's a problem. We're running out of uh, long-term food storage. And in order to get more, I'm going to have to dip into... All right, we're going to do this here. And I'm going to have Frank go build it. Yeah, I'm not even sure if there there isn't any space, is there? Meanwhile, this this storage is mostly full of flax, so we're gonna have to. Uh, ha, 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 ha. I guess I'm gonna copy the food shelves for now, and I'm just going to consign a bunch of the shelves in the dry storage here to we really do need to build a better uh, a bigger food storage i'm likely going to build one under the keep this season should have done that early on to be honest i was not really thinking ahead but and there they are they're hauling stuff in now because there's shelves available the shelves will be unavailable imminently. Really fucking imminently. That's okay. Having more food than you can store is kind of a kind of a good thing. A little bit of a waste of my seeds. Um, but kind of a good thing. Okay, so the stairs have been dug or have been built down. Let's have her uh, dig that out, and then we're gonna get everyone on digging for a day. And hopefully we're going to get this done before the... So the stairs are there, and then I want to dig another level down. And then we'll have them... I'm just going to move time there. Um, we're going to have them mine. Okay, and then in this underground space, I'm going to put in... Oops, got an autosave drop in there. Two, three, four, five width. So, two, three, four, five width. Yep, that looks good. I might even make it one extra wide. And we are going to support the... So how wide is that total? It should be 11, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It should be 12 wide. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Now, if I were to just excavate that, obviously the damn ceiling would collapse. And that's not going to work for me. So we're going to have to do some other things here. Uh, 
probably the easiest way to do it would be to go three up and three out and drop a pillar, three up and three out and drop a pillar. Three up, there we go. And that should that should be supporting uh, the what's above it, the courtyard, the center courtyard should be supported there. There's not really much to collapse into it. In fact, that's a, a pretty ideal space to build. I don't risk undermining any buildings. Oh, but they are going to mine other things. And that's not okay. I need them to work on this project and only on this project for a little while. It's definitely the priority. Hope someone winds up down in the pit. No, I want her to dig that one. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, so we're gonna put another flight of stairs down there. And we're gonna have Frank come in and Build them, and Wallace will build the other one. Perfect. Something's wrong. Oh, he was eaten. Okay. Um, has Wallace got the materials? Not quite yet. Might replace these with stone stairs in a in a minute. Um, there are materials, of course, underneath them, so those will need to be cleared before I can build anything substantial. And let's see, we've got... Yeah, that's going to be really great. Oh, oh, oh! Uh, Wait a tick. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. The whole community is going to be engaged in this activity. Crop light? On what? Crop light on... Damn it! Okay. I clicked on the wrong crop there. All right, that's fine. Just can get through it this way. Okay, that field looks good. Yeah, it doesn't affect the bear. Oh, it is affecting my damn beats, though. Oh, jeez. They've actually, uh, they've announced they're gonna add a difficulty setting slider that allows you to turn crop blight events off. Um, that'll sure be cool. Um, I don't think I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna play the game as intended, but uh, if you wanted to not have blighted crops, um, you, you could just get around it. Okay, now probably, yeah, there's some light over there. And when can go cut that one. And that one. And that should be good. Now what's he doing? It's going to spread, isn't it? So, minor loss of some crops, but uh, it appears the blight has been... Ah, damn it. Did it spread? Or is that uh, just shadow? Just deep shadow. Oh, they are digging away there. They are digging away down there. Let's see. Let's see. Outstanding. Did anything collapse? Yeah, there was a little, a little collapsey. That's okay. 
right? That's it's all good. It's just a little collapsed. Um, one way I can resolve that um, so that it doesn't become uh, an ongoing problem is um, having them slap in some beams. And then as they dig it out, I'm going to start immediately placing shelving around it. Could have made it one unit smaller, eh? That's fine. Whatever. How much wood do we have? Not much, so we're going to need to gather 905. So we're going to need to gather some woods, I think, to build all of these shelves, but... Tomorrow this, uh, this room will be finished. <sighs> Technically could build a staircase down there, eh? That would... right into the middle... of the, uh, the storage. Would be an interesting idea now, wouldn't it? Well, now that the hole is open, we've uh, we've got the option for the future. Oh, they're adding terraforming. That's something new too. Um, I'm, I'm, I, again, I'm going to cover that in the same video. I talked about the other forthcoming updates, but they're going to add the uh, ability to move individual blocks of dirt um, and place them and replace them, so that I don't wind up having to like build an entire keep around uh, raised plot, so I can I can have access to herbs by my kitchen. You know, little things. Little things make a big difference. Okay, get down there and get pickaxing, folks. I should be a pickaxing today, but it's uh, it's pouring rain right now. It's pouring rain, and it's uh, it's it's warm for it's warm for late October. The twenty degrees out and pouring rain, but I expect that'll change next week. We're probably gonna get our our our, our plant killing frost here, and then it'll be on to snow for me. Okay, got myself a Victoria three, but I uh, but I refunded it right away. Um, not because I. Not because I can't afford it, but uh, I'm not going to play it. Um, I, I loaded it up, I fiddled with it for 45 minutes, and I decided that I would much rather wait for mods um, and uh, some quality of life like DLCs. I'm sure there's going to be an American Civil War focused DLC um, that's going to add a bunch of like really cool things to the game um, with respect to that. And that's really why I want to play it. So uh, Victoria 3 can wait. Okay, folks, uh, let's get you off mining and onto constructing, and now everybody will build for a while. This is, this is a weird, you know, this is a weird way to play this game. Um, just assigning uh, everybody to build constantly, but well, rather assign, assigning everybody to bulk actions. Um, you know, like having everybody build or having everybody mine. Um, it's much more efficient if they don't, but. I just want to get through some of these tasks and, you know, while we've got, oh my god, and a hailstorm, while we've got crops still rotting in the fields, um, I want to get as many shelves down as possible. Looks like they're about to... What could they possibly be doing? What could they possibly be doing? Why aren't they building the things that they're slated to build? Okay, can I just, do I still have the clip? No, I don't. Uh, so we'll copy that shelf. Paste that shelf. 
for some reason oh they're building uh oh yeah i guess they're getting stone to build chairs and stuff but they're not really not really doing what they ought to how the hailstorm fare for my crops did some damage definitely did some damage um barley crop is still good over there that's fine but the hailstorm did oh there they go now they're building things Building so many things, I don't even want to click that many times. They finished my beams, not quite. It's still not stable enough uh, to build there. Even with the beams. There we go. Beams are up. Cannot plug that hole. Okay. Wow, that sucks. That doesn't even seem right. I feel I guess it doesn't seem it doesn't seem right. Is there a... So I can plug there. And I could fill the hole with clay. Ah, okay. That's just weird. I guess you gotta transfer the support or something. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. What am I doing on wood here? If we ran out of wood. We ran right out of wood. Okay. So I'm going to have them switch over to hall uh, task one. And we're going to need to get some wood next. Uh, I should just copy and paste like I do. Berries are back up already. Wow. My beets are going to seeds. My other beets aren't ripe yet. The beets are the beets are coming in on a weird timeline. Of course, I'm going to probably lose these cabbages to the rain. If not, it will be close. Fall has f fallen. Fall has fallen. Okay, uh, there's a big stand of trees that I can... There isn't really. The forest is starting to get kind of... Some over there. Forest is starting to get kind of spread out here. That's okay. We're going to chop our way through this area here. We'll leave the trees to spread around the castle some more. Except this bunch I will cut uh, all but that oak. And of these, I'll cut that one. No, I don't want to cut that. Believe it or not. There we go. Okay, it is. And that one can be cut. Have them haul for a little while. I was got to reproduce. Okay, so he's he's hauling, but he's still building shelves. That's good. Because we are going to need more shelves. Interior temperatures pretty high. 
food's still going to rot on the shelves. Hmm. Well, they're plugging the hole there. That's good. Probably just gonna let them go as they are. They seem to be making all the right decisions. In fact, I'm gonna have uh, Anais and Christian go back to cooking. Things are going well. And we're in research too, just in case. And uh, we'll have Yeva start researching again. Okay, so... What are we actually producing here, Christian? We are making meals. That's good. We need meals. We're making meals and cheese. So we're going to do the second floor uh, clay blocks and uh, patch the limestone floor. But that means this should be fully indoors, right? Yeah, so this is now two degrees underground indoors. It's the deepest uh, we've dug. That's good. Outside, seven degrees. Perfect. So this food should last for a damn long time. Yeah. Okay. Wonderful. I might as well put uh, like animal carcass storage down here as well. Uh, let's draw that out. This way. And your animal carcasses can go down in the basement. Which means I can turn carcass storage off here. And I might as well put a door in, eh? That isn't necessary, but uh, oh, those are backwards. Let's uh, and that is right down from the normal stockpile too, which is cool. Even. If I uh, were so inclined to put uh, put a door at the top of the stairs. As well. Yeah, that's uh airlock fully enclosed. Okay, now we're going to need to do our uh, our winter mining plan. There was some uh, some stone that got dug out of here. It's not really telling me what the terrain type is here. Maybe if I select the... Yeah. Rocky soil. Okay. It's not really worth digging under there. So we're going to have to keep digging over here. That's good. Let's 
Going very well here. Might as well dig straight through to that patch as well, because that's uh, a substantial amount of resources which I will need to bring in. I think I'm going to do a standard, uh, a standard stranded. I think I'm going to do a stranded alien dawn. Uh, let's play tonight as well. Um, I'm feeling, I'm feeling the vibe. Keep holding shift too, which is if you play that game, something that uh, allows you to select multiple resource um, targets. And in this game, does absolutely fucking nothing. So, how's my shelving going? It's good. It's really good. We're almost there. Just need them to cut some more damn trees. Okay, everything should have been hauled in by now. So anyone who's not cooking or we're going to have them what, cut plants, cut plants it is. Everybody can be on hall two. Got nothing better to do. And uh, we're going to have stewarding set to three for most of these characters. Bottom six or five there. Bottom six. Actually, not Eva. And that'll get them uh, prepped for winter. I should also double check. I think I did this. Uh, oh no, none of them are, <laughs> none of them are wearing their summers, or not or wear, wearing their winters. Rather, they're all. We head into autumn day three. There is absolutely no reason for them not to uh, get prepped for the season ahead. I guess I need someone to do some smelting too, because I got I got a bunch of iron in stockpile there. What are these all set to? They're not set to do anything, are they? Iron ingots, gold ingots. Let's have this one make sil oh no, uh let's have this one make silver ingots. And so might as well double the iron production. I could be setting a number of uh, times they should repeat the task, but I'd like to smell through the majority of my stuff if we can. Well, oh, they finished the barn roof too. That's great. That's great, guys. long until the final harvest three days okay so yeah mid-autumn you get your your final barley harvest in we've done that before it's a good question how many animal feeds is we got fermenting mash is just overflowing out of the the brew house here that's that's all that building is going to be is a brew house when uh when the kitchen's finally done in the great hall it's going to take a while Oh, 
Animals are hungry, just the dog. Dog's always hungry. Oh, they're off clear cutting. They're almost they're almost through it. Like one more day of chopping. They have this patch of iron and stone out here too that they can mine sometime. I guess I could have them dig up the rest of this soon, now that there's stairs in it. That seems like a pretty good thing to do this uh, this winter as well. Turn that into, you know, it, be it becomes kind of like an extension of a moat or, you know. There's another patch there. How are we doing on... 4700 hay. We've got we've got lots of materials now. This is a community that can take real risks and do interesting and cool things um, quickly now. Like we've got the, the 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 food capacity we can stretch, the resource capacity we can stretch. We just wood wood is going to be a challenge. I'm probably going to wind up planting trees in the spring. I might you know it might might even be something to do now. Um, they're not going to grow through the winter, but um, it's not a bad idea. To just get that out of the way. Plant. Uh, what do I have? 109 oak trees I can plant. So. It's almost the point where I might want to start to, uh, like, farming, row farming them, just like, you know, over here. Let's see. It's... Right, like just a patch of oak trees there. That doesn't hurt. And what do we got? 117... Oaks, 94 birch. Toss birch trees around. Now, if I give them an order to plant, I'm going to need to make sure they don't plant the crop field, so I'll have to disable those. Probably best that that happens right after the barley harvest in a few days. Uh... Those berries aren't going to go anywhere until the barley is brought in. And if I plant, where is that patch? That patch is there. So if I plant an equivalent uh, birch forest there, that's pretty great. Okay. And we've got 83 maples. I mean, reforestation was super important. Um, obviously, there were different methods. Um, coppicing uh, being uh, the most notable. Um, tra and transplantation was sort of a thing, too, of seedlings. But, um, you know, as someone who, who transplants trees with modern technology, I can tell you it would have been super frustrating to transplant trees in the medieval era. Um, it would be very, very um, labor-intensive, physically demanding task. And... Uh, you know, it would take a, it would take a long time. The effort to rewards like you would you would have to plant vast areas, um, and I, you know they and they did they did especially for um, shipbuilding. Um, you know, forest forestry was a key component of a, a nation's long term strategy. Um, well, that was really really the late Middle Ages and early Renaissance, but. Uh, I noticed I lost some herbs. Uh, I don't know if that was to the hail or to the blight. Maybe I missed a blight or something, but I feel like that would have killed all of them, so.
ideally this is going to be converted into a wine cellar right and the, the the main food store is going to be down here what are we doing on our lumber have they brought in any wood or did they just cut it what are they doing Falling the stockpile, in the stockpile. Okay. Oh, they're hauling in. See, folks, this is why you set all your shelves to food only if you want them to be food only because it's, it's a tedious, time-consuming process. But if you don't, they start to store the saplings uh, or seedlings on um, on your shelves, and that's just that's just not copacetic. I, uh, I want these shelves for food only. Um, I think now we're actually going to move all of our food stores um, into the main storeroom here. And the ice. We'll move the ice over too. So that I can get that alcohol uh, cleared off the floor in the brew house. This is tedious. If only there were, yeah, so you can't bulk set shelves. It would be cool if you could, uh, did I already do these? Yeah, so it would be cool if you could set the shelf before you placed it. Um, that is a feature. That is a feature, Foxy Voxel. Allow us to set the uh, permissions um, on shelves before or or any container for that matter before we place them so that we can play multiple uh, so place multiples with that permission type um, because this uh, you know I'm actually just gonna run time because I'm just wasting I'm wasting time here doing this um, this is tedious my wrist hurts too much clicking too much clicking foxy voxel it's okay it's not your fault I understand why it's done this way but it would be cool wouldn't it if you know even even if you could just change while the shelves are pending, and I would just change all of them at once and not have to come back and micromanage that. Just a, you know, a little quality of life thing. But uh, whatever. I think I got most of them on that side, didn't I? Uh, no, it doesn't look like I got any of them on that side. Uh, I did. I did. Okay. Well, we'll say that's good enough for now. I'm sure I missed a handful. All right, just make sure that I get them all hauling. You know what, I'm actually gonna put them on haul too, and we're just gonna do it this way again. That way they build the shelves, break the shelves down, haul the materials, and I've just gotta make sure that this also is for uh, what material? It's a manufactured material, weirdly enough. Ice blocks. And then uh, we'll change the uh, brewery floor. And we're going to change these shelves back to non food material storage. Well, it's just a strange way to play. All right. Oh, 
all the stuff spilling outside. That's no good. Oh, I didn't think about that. Oh, and they're not going to haul it for a while because there's all that wood lying around. Uh, okay. Well, everybody has to haul for several days now. That was that was silly of me in hindsight to do that. If my food if my food rots down, I will be less than impressed. I've still got a lot in storage, but uh, hope they prioritize food over wood. Anything perishable should be prioritized without you having to explicitly tell them. I'm gonna have her continue constructing my shelves. Yeah, they're bringing the food in here. That's good. Shelf needs to be food only. Okay, and so we're going to expand this to uh, the whole room. And it's going to be a stimulant and fermenting room. Phoebe the dog has died because I didn't feed her because dogs don't understand how to get food. And people don't understand how to bring it to them because, well, I could have probably put someone in animal handling and, but, uh, whatever. Rip. Barley's coming up. Well, I'm just going to do all the tree planting in the spring. It's going to be too complicated with the major harvest. They're about to bring in more, right? And this food room's starting to look a little full. That's astonishing. Maybe I should have kept this other pantry and whatever. I really needed a place to put the the fermenting ingredients. What are we doing on wood here now? Not much. Elmer is rebellious. What's his, uh, what's his malfunction? He's just annoyed. Deprived of entertainment. Okay, we gotta finish that great hall this winter. That's the the major, major priority for the community. In order to do that, we need some stone. In order to get the stone, we need to do some mining. Has all the food been all the food they can reach has been brought in, I think. Uh go down and look. Yeah, so that's I don't know why I didn't just set all the two. Uh, 
know what? It's even smarter. Wait, wait, before mining happens, they have to harvest, don't they? So is that harvest or two? Yeah, all right. This is me screwing up here. So there's uh, barley coming due and they need to get more berries. And then we'll we'll have so much damn food. They're still bringing in seedlings. That's so that that order of priority is a little weird. It should be wood sticks and then seedlings. I get the, seed, the seedlings are perishable and the wood can just lay out, but you always need the wood. You don't like I'm never like I must get in all the seedlings. Like these are just extra things that you wind up with. They're actually yeah, they're adding a slider that will remove the need for seeds for planting um, for crops. I don't know if it'll work for trees, but certainly for crops. Um, I don't know how I feel about it. Um, it's, it's the way it works in. Uh, Stranded Alien Dawn, so uh, it'll be an interesting change again. I don't think I'm going to deviate much from the vanilla. My next playthrough is going to be on like the ultra hard mode, um, but I'm, I'm likely going to wait to do another going medieval playthrough until um, some more updates come along with the terraforming. I really want to do like a, a Mott and Bailey style um, wooden wooden fortification, maybe like a Scottish brock kind kind of design, um, like around a single round tower. Um, that's really tall that the people live in like we'll we'll see where i wind up um but okay it's it's harvest season let's just use that and theoretically they should be oh they're still hauling okay that's fine i'd, I'd like them to haul in wood before they harvest And actually, let's make sure every fire in the place gets lit, because we're we're coming up on we're coming up on winter here. Still, don't have the great hall done. Doesn't look like we're going to get done until winter. Um, probably going to bang through an extra floor on the keep, if I had to guess. Um, I could start laying that out now, but I'm not, I'm not personally doing anything. I'm waiting for them to bring things in. I think I will, actually. So... We know there's going to be an outer wall of limestone brick. Oh, well, I wasn't doing anything, but uh, what do we got? We got adept archers, ruthless marauders, archers. Okay, how close is the enemy? Uh, are they even able to reach me? I don't think they've got a ramp out of that. Oh, they do have a ramp out of that hole. I'm like, that looks like they're stuck in there. So they are pretty far from me. Um, on, on the side of the castle there. Just as I started to block out a, another course of stones, we get attacked. It's just it doesn't just figure. All right. Two arms, peasants, two arms. Ding, 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 ding. All right. It needs to be a, it needs to be a bell you can ring for dramatic effect. Uh, I was playing Manor Lords, the demo. That That is sweet. That is sweet. I can't, I can't wait for... Uh, for that to come out, and I can't, I can't wait to experience the combat in that. It's very different from this, like it's not uh, a direct competitor for this game. This game shines in ways the Manor Lords does not, like specific voxel-based building. I'll never get tired of that, but uh, Manor Lords has some really cool systems. Just bonkers, bonkers cool. Very realistic. Okay, there's the bad guys. Slow time back down. Okay, and we'll have them shoot it out with the archers for now.
What is Anwen fucking doing? Jesus. Did I lose someone? Two, three, four. No, I didn't lose someone yet. But um, that said, they are getting hit pretty hard. Kill that one next. Okay, we dealt with their archers. Unfortunately, this is just going to mean more stuff to haul now. Let's uh, prioritize the plate armor wearers. I want to loot those things off their bodies. Hendrick there. Wallace is rebellious. Uh. And Francis is rebellious, both. That was weird. At least when they get rebellious, they don't, like, run outside your walls and get themselves killed. That would... Yeah, they do that in RimWorld, right? Like, I'm gonna go for a sad walk right now. You're, like, under attack by bandits. Like, what, what are you doing? This worked out pretty well. Everyone's got their winter clothes on now. Yeah, they do. What are you guys doing? Absolute scrubs. All right, they didn't even get as far as they normally do. It's probably because my archers are getting better. Oh, yeah, they don't let you. Okay, so that's annoying too, Foxy Voxel, when you select all your settlers. Just allow us to undraft the drafted ones without unselecting the rebellious ones. Like, little little quality of life thing, but okay, let's, uh, what do we got here? Might as well mess with these now. Um, so we're going to take the apparel off. The stands and armor is going to be um, plate armor, savage plate armor only. And hats are going to be, oh, not hats at all. Um, headgear is going to be uh, great helms, pig faced helms, kettle helms. Male helms and horned helms. Said I was going to do it, so we're going to do it. Which is keeping only the armor and weapon types we're actually going to use. Um, as far as the shield racks go... Don't want bucklers. Um, we pretty much just want kite shields and shields. I even set the quality um, on these. We want only good shields. With 40%. Or 
or more health. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, I selected the wrong shelf there. That's what happened. So, hit shields with 40% or more. And everything else that comes in is going to get uh, dismantled. People are passing out. I guess they're tired from fight that what ran late. I'm not going to mess with weapons for now. Um, although I could theoretically set the quality again to only good quality weapons and only uh, let's go with 40% again on hit points. I don't care what they're picking up, but I don't want them picking up absolute trash, and any absolute trash can just get dismantled. Yeah, they're still hauling things to stockpile. That's good. I'm going to let them go on that for a while. I think we're bringing in wood, which will be necessary. Yeah, but they're bringing in the wood now. Okay, so we're going to dismantle items for woods and... Any item under 40% hit points. Nobody's like bleeding to death, are they now? And any item between flimsy and good quality. Okay. Do the same thing for bows. I won't do it forever. This should cut down on clutter. Why are they all so tired? Did something happen? Are they unable to access their beds? No, I think it's just... Uh, they need a good night's sleep. That's good. I guess I got the weapon bench over there too. We'll do the exact same. Again, a little bit tedious. It would be cool if we could save and paste these. All right, the community's not happy right now. They are. Uh, they are all. Uh, they're all in a bad mood. I'm gonna have to get them cooking. This is uh, probably the time, now that the wood's been brought in, that we get people back on their routines. Okay, so who is my smith? Elmer is a smith. We're gonna put Elmer on smithing. They're still exhausted. I don't know what happened there. I have to review my notes to, or my, my, not my notes. <laughs> I have to review my notes. I have to review my video here to um, ascertain.
Oh, did I screw that up? With the shields? I think I did probably, right? No, no, it's okay. Okay, good. I dragged it the right direction. I'm like, but if I drag the slider down, then... Um... Okay, Yeva should be on animal husbandry. And then research number two. Hmm. Okay, who doesn't have an assigned task here? Martin, cook, woodcutter, and builder. Let's assign him to building as well and have him... So what I'm doing is I'm having them roll through their priorities. Well, Martin's also an animal husbandry person. Okay. Pretty good. Okay. So I can probably start setting up custom armor too. I guess uh, I guess I'm running down in the end of the, the video here, so I'll do that the next time around. Um, just a little note to self, that is what I plan to do. But uh, the community seems to be functioning. Seward's still just like intermittently passing out. Elmer's intermittently passing out. It's going to take them a while to catch up on their sleep, I think. That's too bad. But yeah, um, Ravensworth Castle is... Uh, coming along nicely. We uh, we got through a uh, subterranean food storage, filled it, packed it to the gills um, with a fresh harvest. Still have a little harvesting to do before winter sets in of the barley. That'll be um, on the, uh, the very beginning of the next episode. And then it'll just be um, a winter of uh, following more or less um, this a priority list. Um, but yeah, this has been Postmodern Cowboy playing Going Medieval, a uh, community management game in the vein of Rimworld, uh, Dwarf Fortress, and Surviving Mars from Foxy Voxel. If you like watching me play games, um, let me know what you think down in the comments. Subscribe to my channel. Uh, throw me a like. Um, yeah, keep it peaceful out there.